for Gen. What was it? I, I I got Shield, I think, and uh, I started it. Yeah, that open. that's it. I started it. <laughs> it's it's yeah. All right. Like, anyway, appar apparently the good things from uh, the Crown Tundra and people are like, you know, what? just make Crown Tundra full game. Just do that. Just do it. Well, you know, I'd be down for it. Just total freedom, but that's neither here nor there. Instead, we've got the quintessential Gen Oneer and the classic boy himself. A couple yellow devils. Honestly, for an additional class in their of own rights, they're both <laughs> yeah. yellow devils. Like, yeah. So see, Caleb, uh, super powerful uh, Pac-Man. Uh, we saw some really, like, really down to the wire stuff between these two uh, a few Xeno Wi-Fi's ago. Their their sets would come really close to time, if not just go to time, and uh, yeah, but really like. Everything was so marginal with them. It, it was quite a sight to behold. And right now, kind of doing a lot of damage uh, given the history of the pace that they normally go. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, uh, Caleb was playing his Me Gunner and this using a lot more of their, uh, their spacing tools. I guess Pac-Man, Pac not even I guess. Uh, has a more developed combo game, mm -hmm. so he can kind of go toe to toe, quite literally, with Pikachu. Uh, though, when you get to these percents, sometimes both players can, not even, uh, both characters can find struggles to kill. And as they are both more on the passive side of their of their mains, uh, they don't take as many like I'm going to look for the kill now kind of risks. Mm -hmm. Thus, we have two minutes off the clock. <laughs> Oh, just a little bit, little bit of turnaround did not help. <laughs> All right, so Mouse Rack going to be taking that first stock. So now, you know what can? Never mind. Oh, okay. That's what he can do to bring it back. Uh, Mouse Rack did, didn't get a chance to kind of run away uh, and, and like trying to build a lead through just like hit and run sort of tactics and yeah immediately evened up yeah the real benefit of this well one of the many many benefits of this stage for pac-man uh, not only is it very wide but the platforms if you can send the hydrant top lane with something like an up air mm -hmm. uh, specifically reverse up air it tumbles very slowly and it would tumble off the platform and cover right about where neutral get up is so you force them to roll or jump which you can cover then by standing at roll distance and hovering with any one of Pac-Man's many, uh, many different bonus fruits. It's a, it's a tough ledge trap. <laughs> kind of just have to wait there and hope the hydrant doesn't hit you. <laughs> oh my so God! Pikachu, Pikachu has the privilege where he doesn't need to go to ledge uh, often, if at all, thanks to Quick Attack. And the the ledge can often be. Ah! Wow! Wait, that was really, that was really kind of sick. <laughs> Caleb's covering jump with these fruits uh, almost every time, whether it be apple or melon. One forty one is quite a quite the number though. He missed the the be reverse on it anyway. You just got the full drift. Caleb's empty movement is really good. Yeah, I, I love A it like times... when players just like take advantage of like their just straight up positioning. It's just like I don't have to press any buttons. My stick is all I need. You know, and it just as... makes people so nervous. As a wise man once once said, uh, doing nothing is frame zero. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, now we're coming down to the wire here for the uh, for both of their second stocks. Yeah, luckily for Pikachu, he has a pretty easy tool for killing in both up. Okay, wait. Wow, up air gonna you know do what? it. Yeah, up sure. Why not? 
I want to I want to say bad DI, but I don't want to like commit to that. I I mean we have max rage Pika, and it was at like 100. He was at 148 after hit, so a um, little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> Runs on their shield. Anyway, Get now Hydra. Uh, you know, let's see if. This time, Mouse Rat's able to like kind of get some extra damage, although really knocking on Death's door here on this stock. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, confirms. Is that is that true? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, drag down up smash is true a little bit later, but drag down down smash is almost always true. Okay. However, it is if you do manage to shield it, it is very very minus. One of Pikachu's few like really minus moves. Yeah. Hey. Back All right. Well, Caleb able to even up the stocks, but you know, at still a pretty healthy uh, deficit. <laughs> I guess unhealthy yeah. deficit. Uh, you know, 60 damage down. It's just like like that can sometimes not be a lot of damage, but when uh, things are kind of slower, it, it can amount to quite a lot. All right, less than a minute yeah. on the clock. It doesn't look like Mouse Rat is either aware of the time or choosing not to play for it because he's he's quick attacking in and he's trying to push his advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty hard. Like at 45 seconds, I feel like you just you do this. <laughs> you do you do T jolt. Oh <laughs> God, <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah, now it now is noticed. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. Oh, final hit. Is that going to be enough? Almost. But no cigar. 52. What are you air dodging for? Okay. <gasps> Is that? Oh! Wow. Oh, he almost died. <laughs> he, he missed. He missed. That's insane. He did not expect that to hit. Oh, my God. Five yeah. seconds. What? The raw power of the orange. Holy. See, Callum. Oh my god. Snatching the rug up from under him. Orange. Oh my god. Uh, orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god. Yeah. My you man. knew that Mouse Rat was a much more of a, uh, a skull. Whenever he's trying to get horizontal distance, he wouldn't just drift or air dodge. He would skull bash. I, Either I that or was a Hail Mary. I can't believe it. The the Ooh. snipe with the fruit, like, oh my god. He was just, uh, he was down by, what, 60% when 45 seconds to go? <laughs> that, that, okay, yeah, let's look at this up air again, because that was... <laughs> that had to have been the freshest up air I've ever seen in my life. All right, a little fast forward, and, all right, wait, go back again. Like... <laughs> He was at 142. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, he probably could have DI'd it better, but yeah, he just went flying. All right, see Caleb taking yeah. game one from the skin of his teeth, honestly. Yeah, we might have uh, several, several more of those in this uh, in this game. Oh, this isn't replay anymore. No, this is game. <laughs> this, this is this is gameplay. <laughs> Out of that shield. I guess Master's trying to play this a little bit more uh, cautious, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, but pushing his advantage when he has it. The thunder resetting the ed edge guarding chance. All right. Very nice, very nice. Pac-Man does so much damage. His raw damage is really good. <laughs> oh, Pac- Yeah, it's, his output is, is ridiculous. He's, he's a small ball of death. Why'd they give him a three-frame there? Someone explain. <laughs> Great question. He's got, like, some of the best, like, individual aerials in the game, on top of them almost comboing into each other and themselves. Like, it's pretty, pretty nice. 
All right, now let's see if uh, Mouse Red can take this stock before Caleb is able to get a bit more of a lead. God, the fact that like Mouse Rat, like was up by so much percent before that timeout, you know, it feels like he won the last game, but then you just look at the score and you're like, oh man. All right, I actually was able to dodge every hit on his second stock and even it up, so. Two stock game, and then right off the bat, getting some quick damage. Not too much, though. I'm gonna get chomped yeah. a bit. Pikachu's base combos, uh, they do great in terms of positioning, but in comparison, like raw damage, unless you're pushing super hard for uh, a lot of his more complex strings, like, he only really ends up getting 25 to 30, which is really good in any other game, but pretty standard for this game. Well, not in any other game. Pretty good for Smash 4, but pretty standard for this game. Alright. Oh, okay. Called out the drift back with a forward arrow out of shield. Getting tight. Watch out for the hydrant. Oh! Ah! <laughs> You gotta be careful with He that. literally ran into the... Oh my god, if that trampoline wasn't on its last one, wouldn't he have just got trampolined into that forward smash? Uh, yeah. I that think that's what he was looking for. to have for. been the concoction. Oh god. It's, it's simultaneously a great thing and an awful thing that Hydrant <laughs> can, um, can block projectiles. Because you can use it to counter zone, but, uh, but it also can potentially ruin setups like that where you really want them to spring upwards, but hit it a couple times and the, the play is dead and you're left charging a forward smash with no one in front of you. But these fruits... Healthy, healthy fruits. I don't think he has anything on deck. Now he does. Oh. Alright. Okay. Now, this is best of five, so this next game, uh, while it won't end the set, it might, it, it'll put, if Caleb's able to win this, it'll put him in a really good position because then he'll have to deal with, uh, uh, Maltrot will have to deal with double counter picks. Although, honestly, probably, like, the way they both play, I don't think there's going to be too much of, like, a, like a stage advantage that you can really get. Yeah, the only thing I could really see being a huge counter pick advantage is if Caleb does want to counter pick um, me Gunner and go to yeah. Yoshi's like he yeah. did a couple of times in their last that's, set. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. But his Pac-Man seems to be uh, doing Pac-Man things, <laughs> so he seems rather comfortable. Especially if he can just play this anti-air game and make Pikachu ah! air to air with that forward smash. Alright, two oh. stock. What are you doing approaching me? Jumping at me? Get out of here now. Gosh damn. Gorsh. You just like... You caught just him. him up. Like, you, you see what happened here was, uh... He like dodged the T-Jolt. Oh. Oh my. All right, yeah, but like I said, it's, only, it's now 2 0 lead. So that's not over just yet. That's pretty huge, though. Like, yeah. Going up, it, in for all intents and purposes, it very well should be 1 1. But now you've got a potentially tilted mouse rat yep. with two games up and a comfortable formula working out for you where. You're spending all of your time <gasps> anti-airing and cover covering ground with Hydrant and anti-airing pretty much the entire game. Mm -hmm. Like with all these down airs and the the platform setups that uh, resulted in, in the stock, in that final stock. It's a... Uh... It, it, yeah, it, it's just, it's such a strong thing. Like when you win the best of three within the best of five, you know, you know that you, if we happen to uh, go to game five, you're gonna have counter pick advantage, um, and that can be that can spell really good because now you know Caleb, like you said, we might see the me gunner, 
you know, in case if we go to game five, you know, he'll be able to like, you know, switch things up, be like, oh, I see you've adapted. Say hello to uh, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> that, that was the gunner that he was playing, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, Jane, Jane Wick. Yeah, Jane, Jane Wick. Jane Wick. Was, right, right, like, right, right, <laughs> Mrs. Smith. Yeah, that's also accurate. <laughs> yeah. Right, I think we're just running back because I didn't see them leave. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. Mouse Rat kind of hell-bent on being like, look, man, in my mind, I won game one. And so, you know, I, I can do this on this stage. I, I mean, there's also the fact that, like, it's, it's so big that... You know, if you want to create a lot of space, if if Mousetrap's just able to like figure out the formula of uh, not so much formula, but like you know, like a rough estimate of the of like the pattern on how to get in and get some quick lead, he can try and keep the keep away game. But all right, get in. What's always what's always been rough for Mousetrap is that he's on all three games now. He started off super strong, but he was never able to secure the kill until. Caleb was able to even it up. Uh, so if he can leave this stock with like 80 percent or less, he's sitting really pretty. But if Caleb's manages to get one more string, a couple more setups going in his favor, then there's there's a lot of more, there's a lot more wiggle room. But here we go, uh, 56 on 56 yeah. to his name and a stock lead. That's really, really strong position to be in. So now it's just really going to be down to what Mousetrap uh, can do to maintain that position. <gasps> oh, okay. That's. I feel like I knew that, but I didn't expect that. So, okay. So, so basically, he he forwards. So he threw the bell on the ledge, forwards Matt, but because Mousetrap didn't get up into the bell, he dodged the first one. But but the bell hits the ledge. So once his invincibility ran out, he got zapped. And then I guess it put him high enough to get hit by the forward smash. Yeah, the invincibility lets him, uh, pops him up to just just, a, just that little bit higher. Just a little bit. Just enough. <laughs> That's enough. And so, oh my god. That's right, it must be like, he's just like, wow, my that work for that yeah. lead. He's got to start all over again. And, like, right now, like, super, like, minor percent lead. A lead nonetheless, but, oh, boy, that's got to hurt. He's really taking advantage of it thus far. Like, he's letting T-Jolts do the work. And at the, as long as you're keeping Pac-Man in shield, while he does have really good out-of-shield tools, um, the T-Jolts are just keeping him there. And that means he's not charging fruit. It means he's not charging hydrant. It's he's not moving around so much. He's keeping uh, Caleb in a place where he knows he can be effective, and he knows he can combat whatever Caleb is trying to do. And that's what's kind of netted him this lead this far. Oh, that's unfortunate. He parried the first hit of hydrant, but got clipped by the landing hit. Base read for both players. They're going to jump with one of their fast areas, but what if I meet them there first? And then ensue the entire game. Alright, you can definitely tell that Mouse Rat's like, trying to be like more reserved before. We, we saw a real tussle uh, game one. They were doing a lot of back and forth. Well, in the beginning, because that was the one that did go close to time. It, you know what? They, he just switches gears, like, a lot. <laughs> but, like, I feel like he's more reserved this time. <laughs> it's, it's It feels so weird to say that in, like, hindsight when, like, the other game... Ah! <laughs> Either no, way. No, I know what you mean, because early game, it gets really... They Aggressive. start scrapping yeah. really, really solid early game. <gasps> because both players are looking for the lead that they had in prior games. But once one of the players finds that lead, then the pace starts to wind back. Yeah. And then the flow starts to head into that player's direction. And suddenly a lot more damage comes up through simply nickel and diming. Yeah. Because one of the players has to approach. And while I was having that crisis on how to describe the situation, uh, Caleb took uh, took the stock. So now in a lead. So now we're going to see a bit of the reverse situation. Deja vu. Here we yeah. go again. 
<laughs> Can Mouse Rat mix things up just enough? Like, either change up timings? That was a really good grab. The bell still hit him. He's <laughs> hunting. Yeah, he's, he's not giving him anything. Like, Caleb's not giving him any form of aggression. That was a really good quick attack, but... There was no... There was no reason for him to fall for any... It, go for any sort of chances that the mouse rat may or may not be giving because he's in such an advantageous spot like, you know he, whatever mouse rat might be showing him might be a bait that's that's a little bit dangerous don't yeah, do that i'm surprised we didn't see a hydrant but i mean oh goodbye yeah jeez oh, another two stock ooh. it i just like once ooh. once it falls out of mouse rat's uh clutches just Caleb starts uh, just pulling away so hard. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, nice water, stupid. That's such good awareness. Oh, my God. Because, like, he's drifting out, but he he's like, he knows that the water is there, so he does it. Oh, my God. The water combined with the, uh, the expected drift, combined with him knowing that if he holds the side B long enough, if he holds that power pellet long enough, he'll push through Mouse Rat's shield thanks oh. to the weird priority he has. All right, here comes the, that active frame. So boom, he threw it down. See, he dodges the first one, but then whoop. Oh my god. Oh, did he did he time that well enough to catch the uh, the launch after the stun was Let's over? Let's see, so the or first did, one did missed. Just hit? Yeah. Oh, he did launch, I think. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, he, like, that he one launched frame where in. he lurched out. He's up, and then... He has a tech situation, and then, yeah. And he couldn't tech. It's red. Bro! He literally hit him the second frame that he... Uh, got launched. That's wild. That's All right, wow. Timing.